Hello friends, in this video we shall have a look at the different decision making statements that are available in PHP. The computer programs usually execute in a sequential order. So that means if this is the body of the program and in which there are multiple statements, then they will be executed in a sequence one after the other till the time it's re it reaches the last brace of the program. But every now and then you may need the flow of the program to be diverted and that diversion can be achieved in two ways. One is called as the branching and the other is called as the iteration or looping. So what are the different branching statements or decision making statements in PHP that we have to see. The decision making statements in PHP are basically if, else and, uh, and if, else if. In order to use this decision making statements, all the programmer has to do is to anticipate the possible scenarios or conditions that may appear or occur in the entire algorithm of your program and specify the instructions to be executed for each possibility or conditionality. Decision statement or decision making statement evaluates a certain logical expression whether that set expression is true or false. Depending on the true or false value of that logical expression, different parts of the program different statements which are given in, in a block are executed. Specify the statements to execute it when the condition is true or when the condition is false. If the non-zero and non-values are there, they will be treated as true. Zero or null is assumed to be equal to false. So when, when evaluating a logical expression, the thumb rule is that non-zero and non-null non values will be treated as true, zero or null is treated as false. So this is a schematic flowchart of the if statement uh, in PHP, if else statement. Actually there are three different statements which allow the programmer to use the conditional execution if else, else if and switch. So the if else statement is used when you want to execute a certain set of statements conditionally. So for example, if this block denotes a certain condition, possibility is that the value of the condition or the value of the logical expression will be true or false. If the condition is true, then this block will be executed, otherwise it will take the other alternative course of action. Else if is a variation of this if and else. This is used when the if else statements execute a set of codes when one of the statements is true, either this statement is true, this will be executed, if it is false then the else part will be executed and then there is a switch statement. So switch statement is a sort of a multiple options that are available in the program to be executed depending upon a certain value of the switching variables. Here it is used if you want to select one of the many alternative paths to be executed if a particular value is obtained for that logical expression one set otherwise the second otherwise the third and so on. So this is how these three different alternative statements if else, else if and switch are available. How does the if else statement work? If you want to execute some code conditionally. So the if is followed by a bracket and then there is a condition specified. The condition is always a logical expression. And when you say it is a logical expression, that means that it will be either true or false. So this statement is to be executed when the condition is true and this to be executed when the condition is false. So it is a simple uh, bifurcation of 
the execution of the two set of statements. Under a certain, under a certain condition to be true, the statement after if is executed. If it is not true, then the statement or statements after the else clause is uh, are executed. So, for example, here, if I have a variable called as marks equal to 60, and then I want to conditionally print the result is pass or result is fail, depending on the logical expression marks greater than or equal to 60. So, if the marks is greater than or equal to 50, then the first statement result is equal to pass is printed, otherwise it will be printed, printing result is fail. So, it is a simple if else execution. Else if is a very useful clause that can be used in association with if and else. If you want to execute a sequence of series of logical expression and you want to discard one at a time. So, that is the good place to use this else if. If you want to execute some code, if one of the general several conditions are true, there are several conditions which are nested one inside the other, one after the other. So, that is where this else come, where it comes very handy. For instance, I have this variable called x. If this x is less than 25, then this first statement less than 25 is executed else if. When this else if will appear, when this condition is not true, then the second condition is there. Second is not true, then third is there. So, likewise, if there is a sequence of logical expression to be checked whether they are true, then you use the if, else if and lastly you, you can use else. So, what will happen? Depending on the value of x, either the first condition will be true, if true then this will be done and the execution of the if ladder will be stopped. If not true then it will bounce into the else if. If not true then it will, if, if it has another else if then it will execute that. And lastly the else can be used to execute this statement when all the previous conditions are not satisfied. So, that is a ladder of if statements to be used to discard one possibility at a time. So, if if along with else, else is optional. If else if along with else, else if is also optional. Remember that if you use if statement, the statement after if will be executed when the condition is true. If you do not want anything to be anything extra special to be done if the condition after if is not true, then you do not have to give any other condition. Else is optional, else if is also optional. So, all these three statements use of if along with else if and else, I will demonstrate to you with the help of a very simple example which relegates all these possibilities and arrives at a particular decision. So, let us run that example and verify uh, the result here. So, this example is used to demonstrate the behavior of if, else if and else the conditional statements in PHP. And for this purpose, I am using a built-in function in PHP called as rand. This generates a random number between the two you know, parameters that I have given 1 to 100. So, every time it will generate a number between 1 to 100. Now, all I have to do is to check whether it lies in a particular range. So, to begin with, if x is less than 25, I have to just print the uh, you know prompt number less than 25. Else if, if the number is not less than 25, then I want to check it whether it is less than 50. If, if it is so, then I will print number is between 25 to 50. Else, that means if both the conditions are not true, then the control of the program will land into the last or the final else. So, you can have a series of else if statements to you know relegate or discard the different conditions that may be present in the entire decision logic. So, here the first condition if this is not true the second condition and if all the previous cases or conditions are not true then the program will land into the final else. So, this is 
the use of if else else if and else so let us see how it behaves of course the number we generated will be a random number so every time you may find different output being generated so let us run it couple of times and see the result so the server is uh, you know running and i have opened the browser in which i am giving the address localhost if statement.php the script that we have written i have saved it as if statement.php in the document root of the server web server so i just press enter at this point of time the random number generated is 53 53 and therefore it is greater than or equal to 50 again if i run it it may generate a different number and uh, the different you know result number is greater than 50 again fortunately all the time the number is greater than 50 is appearing we may get some number the numbers are being randomized but I wonder yeah so this is random number 5 number is less than 25 so randomization also is taking uh, uh, you know accurately and the if statement result is also appearing as per the requirement so this is the demonstration of if else if and else in php welcome back if your programming logic requires multiple if statements then writing or putting more than one if statements in a sequence becomes rather clumsy especially if each of these if or else blocks might be containing more than one statements in that case you will have to make a block of the statements by using the curly brackets so in that scenario if there are many if and else if and else statements one after the other then the entire program becomes rather tedious or clumsy then it will be very difficult to uh, you know understand which block pertaining to which if statement uh, or if statement is starting from where and ending from where so in order to reduce this clutter this unnecessary clumsiness of multiple if statements it is also a switch case statement is also available so you can use that in this in in this particular situation the general usage is demonstrated here switch is followed by an expression the expression will have a certain numeric value and for different numerical values of this expression different cases will be executed so for instance this expression is equivalent to label 1 equal to label 1 then these two state this statement will be executed if the expression is equivalent to label 2 this statement will be executed or more than one in this case there is only one statement and so on remember that if each of these cases is found to be equivalent to the expression which is inside the bracket in front of the switch then all the statements that are following this label label is followed by a colon after that one or more than statements more than one statement will be executed and the case will be terminated by the break it is important to use this break after each case because otherwise the program will fall through the entire switch block so you don't want to that to happen so for example if this expression is some x and if i write x is equal to case 1 that means what this block of statement i want to execute when x equal to 1 so and this is for 2 and this is for 3 and so on so if i don't use break then what will happen the program's execution will continue throughout the switch statement that i don't want if case is if the expression is equal to 1 this to be executed and the control is taken outside it so for that purpose this break is necessary after each case switch statement evaluates the given expression and 
if the label equivalent label is found the statements after that case will be executed there is a default case also you see that there is a default then what what is the meaning of this default all the recognized or identified cases if they do not match with the expression then the default will be executed okay so either particular situation or particular value of the expression is found then particular corresponding cases will be executed if none of them matches with the value of expression the default will be executed so this is this with this you know mechanism you can reduce the unnecessary formation of the opening and closing brackets so that uh, the program becomes very clean to read and uh, maintain so that is why switch case is generally used very uh, frequently to as to assemble more than one statements at a time so this is the use of switch case we will write a program in which different possibilities of a particular variable which will be called as a switching variable what is the value of the switching variables that will be matched with the different labels and the result will be uh, evaluated so let us run that example demonstrating the use of switch case so in this example i will show you the use of switch case another conditional statement in php where the different cases or different possibilities of a switching variable are processed right so therefore for this example i am also using the rand function and the rand function is used three times to generate three random numbers first two random numbers are between 1 to 10 these are going to be used as the operands for the addition multiplication subtraction and division operations which operation is to be done is will be decided by the third random number between 1 to 4 so these three random numbers x y z will be printed as they are generated now since my addition subtraction multiplication division operations are going to be decided by the value of the z variable i am using switch z so if the value of z happens to be 1 the case 1 will be satisfied because z is equal to 1 addition will be done and the control will break out of this switch to this output statement you know that the each case must be having the last statement as break in order to prevent the program control for, from falling through the entire cascade of switches uh, the cases so every case has a break at the end of course this will not require because this is the last one okay so the result is expected result is very obvious two random numbers from 1 to 10 will be generated third random number between 1 to 4 will be generated depending on the value of z switching will take place if z is equal to 1 addition to subtraction multiplication and division okay and whatever the result will be printed so i have saved this file as switch.php in the document root of the web web server with the web server running we'll uh, enter this file as a url and see the result we'll of course run it couple of times to see the different randomization of the results okay so i have entered the url as localhost switch.php and enter numbers 94 operation code is 3 result is 36 again executed numbers 86 operation code 2 result is 2 so it is fairly accurately 4 5 result is 0 0.8 that being the division 7 10 again the division is 0 0.7 so 110 addition result is 11 so that's how the op output is going to come as a result of the switch case function functionality of our uh, conditional statements in php